One of the tests that we do to actually estimate lodging resistance is to look at how top heavy uh, the plant's tillers are. What we have here is a very sensitive machine to measure leverage. Um, it's a digital machine so we can actually see, see minor changes in, in force. And what we can have is we can have the, the, the tillers of a plant and we can put it into this holding cup. And as we can see that the actual numbers increased and that gives us an estimate of how much leverage or toppling is generated when the plant's at 45 degrees in this particular instant. Um, that number will be dependent upon obviously how many tillers there are, how heavy the ears are and obviously how tall um, the plant is as well. So rather than one of the tests that we can do to sort of screen a variety for its lodging susceptibility is to define how strong the stems are. Now when a plant stem lodges then obviously the stem has to sort of give way and, and buckle. Uh, and this tends to happen towards the base uh, rather than higher up the plant. So in this particular case we can take the basal section of a wheat plant and we can find out how strong it is. So all we'll be doing is actually breaking the stem by pushing a force against it and measuring the force required to do so. Basal section of the plant in this holding jig and just simply move this over and until the force doesn't uh, get any, any higher. And in this particular case, it went to 0.042 Newton meters. So that gives us an estimate of how strong this tiller would be and the forces that it can resist. And as I say, we can look at many different varieties uh, and get a comparison between them to find out which ones are more likely to be susceptible to, to stem lodging than others.